everybody welcome to my channel I figured it was about time I got on here and did a spoon cut crease tutorial for you all a little background information about two weeks ago I posted a video on my Instagram and it literally turned my life upside down in the most amazing way ever I never would have imagined that by taking a spoon to my eyelid for the first time ever in my life to create a cut crease would triple my Instagram followings, would get me featured on Cosmo and Pop Sugar and Seventeen and Marie Claire and MTV and all of these crazy, crazy publications that I grew up reading and I still read. I never would have ever imagined to have one of my videos go viral, let alone having this much love and support from everybody out there in such a short amount of time. So just to fill you guys in, when I put up that Instagram video, it was the first time that I ever, ever, ever used a plastic spoon or any type of utensil while doing my makeup, besides for tape, but that's not a utensil. Anyways, I was scrolling through Instagram one day and I saw a lot of these makeup artists that I look up to and adore and idolize and they were coming up with all of these crazy cool beauty hacks for all of you non-makeup artists out there, whether it's using tape or spoons to contour or anything that would make your lives easier. So I was just thinking, what can set me, just a regular ordinary girl who's trying to make it in such a competitive industry, what can set me apart? And sometimes you just have to go outside your comfort zone and have a little fun doing something that you really love to do. So. I went into my kitchen, I was looking around, and I grabbed a plastic spoon, came up into my room, and started doing my makeup. I put the video on Instagram, and I think currently that video has over 39,000 likes. Guys, you have to understand, at that time, I had 11,000 followers. Do the math. That's crazy to have that many likes. I got reposted by so many accounts, and it was just, the support was overwhelming and there are a lot of people out there who don't like this technique they say that the spoon isn't a one-size-fits-all and you know what it's not foolproof I that was only the first time I've ever done that this is only the second time that I've ever used a spoon doing my makeup but it wasn't meant to be taken so seriously it's just something that you know what if you want to try it to create that spoon cut crease Go for it, knock yourselves out, have so much fun. But I figured I'd get on here and show you guys exactly how I did it step by step so that you can achieve the best spoon cut crease that you will ever do. So without further ado, I am going to walk you through step by step how to create the spoon cut crease. If you liked what you saw, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. If you have any requests for future videos with or without spoons, let me know. I would love to hear what you guys want to see and I would love to do it for you. So yeah, I will see you at the end of this video. Bye guys. All right, so first things first, we're obviously going to need a spoon and then I am going in with the Morphe 350 palette and a Sigma eyeliner brush. This is an E05 brush and then we're gonna go in with that chocolate brown color at the bottom that I just showed you. And then basically we're just going to take the brush with a little bit of product on it and really just trace against the spoon. This is going to be the darkest part of our cut crease and also the thinnest. So try to keep that color right against the spoon and that's why I'm using such a thin brush. So I'm pretty much just going to be mimicking the same steps that I would do to create a cut crease without the spoon, but we're just using the spoon as a separation device between our lid and our crease. Now going in with this orangey color and the Sigma pencil brush, this is an E30 brush, we are just going to put a little bit on the tip of our brush and really start blending out, again using the spoon as a guide. We're just going to go right above it and lie this color on, trying to blend out that brown color that we previously put on. Now if you noticed, we're going to be going from thinnest to thickest brushes and darkest to lightest colors. When I first did it on my Instagram, I liked the effect, I thought it had potential, but it wasn't really the greatest outcome, so it's a learning progress. So next we're going to go in with this peachy, corky, tan color and a Sigma tapered blending brush. This is an E45 brush, and we're just going to lie it right on top and blend out the two previous colors that came before that. 
Now while you're doing this, just keep in mind that you're going to want to try to keep all of these products as close to the spoon as possible because you really just want to give it a blended crease effect. You don't really want it so high up close to your brows or anything like that. And now we're just going to repeat steps one through three. So again, we're taking that chocolate brown color and the eyeliner brush, this is the EO5 brush again, and just really concentrating that color up against that spoon just to define the crease a little bit more. And then again with our E30 pencil brush and that orange color, we are just going to try to blend out that crease a little bit more. This is really just gonna give a more smoky effect. And then again, we are going to take the Sigma tapered blending brush. It's the E45 brush and that quirky color. And then we're just going to continue to blend out that crease. Now because it's still a learning process, and just like when you apply the tape, if you don't apply the tape at the same angle, you are going to get a little bit of a different effect on each eye. Well, if you don't apply the spoon at the same angle, or don't hold the spoon at the same angle, it is going to look a tiny bit different. But you know what? It's a learning process. I know for next time to hold them both either higher or lower. And then I am going to take that light shimmery color and a Morphe brush. I sprayed it with some Fix Plus so that it's a little more pigmented and I'm just going to pack it on my lid right underneath that crease that I created. And obviously, if you want the look to be a little more dramatic, you can use a darker color in your crease or a lighter color on your lid just to create a little more contrast. The more contrast you have, the more dramatic the look will be. So if you want to not use dark colors, then it can definitely be a more natural cut crease. Now I have been getting a lot of questions as to whether this would work on various different eye types and shapes and I cannot give you an educated response because this is only the second time that I've done it and I have only done it on myself but what I can tell you is that each time that I'm doing it I seem to figure out a way to make it a little bit better and ways that I like it a little bit more. For example, not using such a big fluffy brush to create the cut crease. And now again, I'm going to go in with the eyeliner brush from Sigma, the EO5 brush, and the chocolate brown color. And I'm just going to really carve out where that crease is. I might have gone over it a little bit while applying that lighter color. So I really just wanna make sure that it's still as defined as I want it to be. Now I'm gonna go in with the Morphe gel liner in the color Slate. I am going to wing out my eyeliner. I just love how this adds to the effect of the cut crease. Now I really like the pairing of the winged eyeliner and the cut crease because I feel like it really just opens your eyes. I feel like each individually will open your eyes, but I feel like when they're together, it just really gives you a very wide-eyed, beautiful effect. So after I'm done with my gel liner, I am going to apply my false lashes. These are Lily Lashes in the style Cons, and I'm just going to apply them with a tweezer and tuck in that outer corner. I do have a winged eyeliner and false lashes tutorial. If you guys want, I can link it below so that you can see how I go and apply those in depth. And after I apply my lashes, I am just going to very, very, very lightly apply some mascara at the root of the lashes just to really marry the lashes together, get rid of any fallen particles that may make my real lashes look a little bit lighter. And then I'm just going to coat my bottom lashes really quickly. I want to keep all the drama on the top of my eyes today. So that is the really simple way to create a cut crease using this little handy dandy plastic spoon. So go ahead, go rummage through your old takeout, find a plastic spoon, it doesn't have to be plastic, but you know what I'm saying. Find a spoon, put it to your eye, and just follow those quick, easy little steps, and you too can create a spoon cut crease. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked what you saw, go ahead, give it a big thumbs up below. Go ahead, subscribe below. I would love for you to leave me comments, as I said earlier. If there's anything you want to see with or without a spoon, let me know, and I, your wish is my demand, all right? All right, guys, I will see you guys back here soon. Bye.